For more than 20 years, Yungul from Milingimpi in East Arnhem Land have celebrated their history of language, culture, song and dance through the Milingimpi Gutjack Cultural Festival. The Arnhem Land Progress Aboriginal Corporation is the major supporter of Milingimpi's Gutjack Cultural Festival. A highlight of this year's cultural event is the Ripple Effect Band, an all-female rock band from the local area. The women's band share their stories, what it means to be pioneers in an Aboriginal women's community rock band. I'm Tara and I play for rhythm guitar and bass as well and I sing as well. Hi, I'm Jolene and I play for drums and bass and also guitar and sing. Hi, my name is Rachel and I'm a gospel singer, but I am a vocal singer. I'm Jody and I play lead guitar in the band. I'm Harriet and I've been playing the bass guitar and the drums with Ripple Effect for the last year or so. Well, I've known um, like Jolene and Tara and Rona, since they were young, you know, early teenagers, I worked at the school as a music teacher and Rachel over there was also a teacher at the time. And we ran a music program myself and Jopa McKenzie from Wildwater and Megan Atfield and Scott Trenworth. And we ran a music program and these bands came out of it and I, I always smile. I think of Jolene, I was just saying <laughs> last night, she used to play guitar sitting on a chair because she was too little to hold the guitar. <laughs> and just that dedication, it's actually really exciting to see how that hard work that people like Jolene and Tara, they were in the music room all the time and practicing, practicing and that perseverance is, um, is what is part of what's made this band. We had a band, own band go front, front Street Girls before and yeah, and then we was making new song and learning all the instrument, how to play. Men in Greta is a big community and there's lots of um, many different languages in there and a lot of different tribes. We sing in five languages, is it? Yeah, like in, Farada, in the Japana, Japana, Gune and Nakara. And Guningu? And Guningu. And English. And English. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Sometimes we understand each other in different languages when we sing. <coughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Like in my language, Nakara, and like sometimes we translating each other. Mm -hmm. If like girls don't understand, you know, sometimes it's a little bit hard and easy. Yeah, we help each other for our song, songwriting and all that. Myself and Jody, we sit together and teach her about my language. My language is Japanese. I teach her about like cyclone song in my language. I feel so happy and honoured to work with someone like Rachel, who has taught me so much about her culture and been very generous to share 
and it's through her songs, a song like Cyclone that we wrote together. And through Cyclone, like there's all these meanings in that, like I've learned a lot about country and history as well as language. So music is a great place to learn from uh, people in Arnhem Land. As an outsider, I think it's a way to communicate and learn and share. Um, why is important for us to show the young, um, especially young girls, we sing in, um, in language and English. So that's how we make um, young people to keep their uh, knowledge and the language strong. choosing the name because we had all different languages in the group we felt that it would be good to use an English name um, and there had been a video made um, about the ripple effect in Manangrida, a health video. My son, Jacko, who 
knows all these women from when he was little. He suggested it. He said, what about Ripple Effect? That's a good name. And I think it's about how, as women, we want to see a change and more women to play music. So we feel like we're the ripple, we're the beginnings. Us and people like Shelley Morris and Wildflower, we're the beginnings and we want it to spread so that all girls and women feel like they love themselves and have confidence to express who they are and where they come from. Yeah, there's definitely more women around, but we still find so often at festivals we are the only women's band on instruments. So it hopefully hopefully girls will really become more confident to get up and play. We are so proud of ourselves and we are happy that the young people can come forward and ask us. We like to show them our culture too. And so, yeah, they can have, they can keep that culture strong too. Yeah, it's really important. Music is really important for us. Because music are life, and we love music and band. How to, uh, they like to play, enjoying yourself, and you know, like just be happy, take them on the new features, kids and some others. Music gives you so many opportunities. I think the best thing is meeting people and traveling to places and sharing with each other and sharing with all the people we meet.
We are looking maybe in about five, four years. We are looking at maybe one day we'll end up to somewhere like overseas. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. we have a dream in to a go overseas. City. Yeah, maybe Canada. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, make an album. Yes, and some video clips. And I know, I think for me, I want to be playing music when I'm an old lady with these women. <laughs> You know, so five years, ten, it's kind of music is our life. Yes. Why we are playing this band, um, we like to show our young people, especially young girls, so they can be like us in the future. And we love to going around to another community and show our love and respect and we want them to love themselves and respect and looking after each other. The future of many community women wishing to be in a community rock band can now be a reality through the journey of Aboriginal all-women rock band, the Ripple Effect Band.